In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use multiple cameras in Blender in a single scene and uh, how to manage that. So it's a pretty simple topic, but it's, you know, you got to know it. Otherwise, you might be struggling. So um, I have this scene, this BMW scene from Mike Pan, and it's by default had a bunch of cameras that I kind of uh, reorganized a little bit. So you can see here we have camera one to six, six cameras. And let's say you just want to manage your cameras. Uh, you can do that a bunch of ways. So the currently active camera is the one with, I don't even know it. Oh, the, this one. And you can see it because the triangle is filled in. The rest of the cameras have their triangles just open. So this one is camera five. And this is the active one right now. Um, you can change this by going into the scene properties and then in the, under the scene panel, you can see the, the camera. And your scene typically has one camera that is active and that is camera five in this case. We can change that to camera one and it just lists all your cameras. Very basic stuff. Now camera one has the triangle filled in and this is now the active scene camera. And if we click on the, this camera, we look through the scene camera and that's this. And if we hit render, we will render from this camera. So that's um, how you set the active camera. And there's a bunch of other ways you can do it. You can go into view, camera, cameras, and then set active object as camera. So let's say I want camera six to be the active one. We can go into view, cameras set active object as camera now six is the active camera and then there's another way you can do it right click the camera let's say we select this camera five again right click this camera and set active camera that's another way to do it and you could see this shortcut command numpad zero so let's try that this camera camera four command and numpad zero now this is the active camera. Okay, cool. And when you upload this to Blender Grid, you get something like this. Um, you get your project and if you go into the settings, you can see scene camera and you can, you can still change that over here. But what if you want multiple cameras to be active across your animation? So let's say I wanna start off with camera one, make that the active one. And I animated this one a little bit. So let's say around frame 40, I want to move to camera two. Uh, the way to do that is using timeline markers and cameras can have special camera timeline markers to switch cameras on a certain frame. So the way to do that is we have to select the camera we want to make active. So that's currently camera two. Go into the timeline, hit marker, and bind camera to markers. It's gonna bind the selected camera to a new marker. It's gonna create a new marker on the timeline. And if we do that, we have this little camera icon sitting here and camera two is now active. And across the entire frame range, camera two is the active camera. And that is because at frame 40, it will set camera two active, but there's no other camera markers right now on the timeline. So this is the only camera. So that's why camera two is the only active camera. And um, in case you're not familiar with markers, uh, you can you can add markers on frames. So let's frame 64, I wanna add a marker. You can simply, simply hit M or hit add marker. And that will create this little triangle with F64 because it was added on frame 64. You can select it and move it around with G. You can rename it. You can rename it like this. And um, this is just, yeah, this is this is not really doing anything. So then the, the camera type of markers is a different, that's a different type of marker. And uh, those will be able to switch the camera. So you can select them and hit X to delete them. And uh, we're back to our single camera marker. So I was, before frame 40, I was looking through camera one and I wanna make camera one active here. So the way to do that is just to add that camera 
at the beginning of this section. So I'm going to select camera one and go to the first frame where I want to make this one active and do the same thing. Marker, bind camera to markers. And now we have camera one here and camera two from frame 40. So if we look through the camera, we can see camera one is now active. We're looking through camera one. We move and at frame 40, it snaps over to camera two. And that's the way to do it. So let's say at frame 70, we want to move to a different camera, camera six. And I can hit command B or control B to bind the camera, the currently selected camera to this point in time. And that's how you do that. And then when you upload a project like this to Blender Grid, it's going to look like this, where uh, the scene camera is you can't change it because uh, the scene camera is now set using timeline markers. And that is something that, yeah, they are kind of set in stone and you can't, you can change this, but the moment you change a frame, it snaps back. So there's no point in changing that. So that's why this is kind of blocked off and it's, it lets you know that you have set the cameras with timeline markers. Uh, so that's how you do that. So this way you can make an animation with multiple camera angles uh, work. Uh, another use case for this is if you don't want to render an animation, but you just want to render a bunch of still frames from the same scene with different camera angles, and you could do that with a single camera that you just move around using uh, keyframes. But if you, if you prefer having multiple camera objects, you can just render every camera angle on a single frame and that way you render all camera angles with one project and the way you do that is we have six camera angles so I'm going to set the end frame to six so we have six frames in total and if we zoom in on the timeline we just have six frames let's select all the markers I'm just going to start from scratch so our um, our frame range is just six frames on frame one, I'm going to select camera one and hit control B to add camera one here. Do the same thing for camera two and just keep doing this for every camera. And there we go. Now, frame one is camera one, frame two is camera two and all the way to frame six. So if we look through the camera, we can render if we render this as a uh, image sequence, we just get six images of every camera and one image per camera. So that is uh, another very common use case for uh, switching cameras using the timeline. And uh, yeah, again, if you upload it to Blender Grid, we just let you know uh, your timeline markers are set for uh, switching cameras. And yeah, that's it. It's a pretty simple thing, but you got to know it that it's in marker and uh, there's this bind camera to markers option, which you need to use. Um, that's it. I hope it was useful and uh, thanks for watching.